three overrated and underrated coasters. So, my top three overrated coasters include Magnum, Raptor, and Big Thunder Mountain. Big Thunder Mountain is three just because we're just looking at the GP. He totally screwing it up here, right? Yep. With Big Thunder Mountain, yeah. Now the coaster enthusiasts say it's a wow ride. No. Just the GP, right? Yeah, it's a family kitty ride, and that's it. Yeah, I'm not, next is Raptor at number two. I already told you that. It's forceless. I didn't really like it. And number one is a coaster that you could probably expect to be on here. Magnum XL 200. Oof. Man, I hate it. <laughs> you wrote it a lot. I think I wrote it twice. I owned it. And wrote that, it like four times, I think. I think I wrote it twice, and boy, that is just so rough. Yeah, I Not tried it in all different all. seats, and none of them were good. I guess that's just a rough ride wherever you go. Yeah. God bless the coaster, and I love it for it's being history. the first ever over two hundred and made um, history, and it you know what? started the wars that make the coasters that we love now so great, but. Boy, that coaster Man. is just in a bad way right now. Yeah. Well, and guess what? The gold ticket awards put it at number fifteen. Yeah, I like, don't understand you that at kidding all. me? You serious? That has got to get out of there. I agree. So um, you're underrated. Number included for underrated are Maverick, Gatekeeper, and The Joker. And just so you know, these are all that I've written. Yep. Just those are you've written. Yeah. So, by Maverick, you know why. I think it's super intense. Right. It's just pure, We've, we've pure talked intense. about that on the yeah. review. That's still probably my favorite yeah. coaster. I mean, it's got it mm -hmm. all. Gatekeeper's and really good. A lot of it was great. Enthu yeah, enthusiast. A lot of coaster enthusiasts don't like wing coasters that much, but I really enjoy Gatekeeper. I loved it. Yeah, I, I thought it was super fun. That's why fun. I put it on my top three underrated coasters. I agree. It's super fun. Those near miss elements mm -hmm. are amazing. Yeah. And you know, just smooth ride, fun, yeah. ring over drive. Intense to me. Yeah, I mean, it's got some intensity. I don't mind that. I mean, I loved it. I wasn't expecting a lot from the comments people said about it, but it uh, was a great ride. I yeah. Think. And the last one is the Joker. Joker at Six Flags Great Adventure is the one we've been yeah, on. Yeah, not Discovery Kingdom. Yep. But it's still a pretty good ride, right? Oh, I love that Joker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it's completely random when you're going to flip. Yeah. And I understand what people say, though. We rode it a lot. In like two nine days times I we were there. It. But out of those times, I think there was one ride that wasn't that great. We didn't get any flips on it, and it wasn't that great. It was still good and fun, but it wasn't great. Yeah, that's when I sat on the inside, he went outside. So yeah. if you're a smaller person with a bigger person, definitely have the smaller person on the outside. Then you'll flip more. That's for us seem to work well. Um, with you on the outside, me on the inside. Best seat, green side, facing forward, left tail, and seat if you're a smaller person, yep. middle. Close seat. Like the green and, side yeah. a little bit better than purple side. Yeah. And definitely like facing forward because you when don't you go know. off that lift hill, you go backwards on the yeah, first Yeah, you drop. don't know when you're going to go down, man. Right. That's what makes it great. It yeah. seems like you're facing backwards when you go up, but then when that first drop, you're facing forward. So I yeah. agree completely. Facing forward, definitely the way to go. Yeah. On green side, yeah. I think. Overall, I think you got three really good choices for underrated coasters: Maverick, mm. Gatekeeper, Joker, all incredible. Now I'm going overrated. Mm -hmm. I agree also. And now I'm going to talk about how people screwed up on these. So 
The gold ticket awards totally screwed up on Magnum. Don't you agree? I agree. There's no way they should be on the top 50. <laughs> Not even close. Yeah. Not Get that close. out of the top yeah. 50 golden ticket awards. And then for Big Thunder Mountain, obviously, yeah. the JP. Yeah, it's just a general public favorite. <laughs> yeah. And then Raptor. I think the Tons coaster enthusiasts. Like yeah, I think a lot of your coasters. Are I wasn't too impressed. The only thing I can think of is that people like it just because it's at Cedar Point, which is one of the most popular and, lo and most visited. I hear a parks, lot of people. And it's right at the entrance. Yeah, so. and I actually think, think a lot of people say it's intense. I didn't find yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't intense. find it that intense either. Um, but. The coaster enthusiasts are totally wrong with Gatekeeper and the Joker. I agree, too. Both incredible rides, right? Yeah, and with Maverick GP, a lot of say, that's awesome. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. What I want to say, as always, goodbye. Oof, oof. <laughs>